We have considered in the previous lesson one dimensional array, or simply we call them arrays. Today we are going to consider what is called multi dimensional arrays. To start with, we will see only a two dimensional array. I will explain then why. Then we are going to see how to define this 2D array. In the previous lesson, we have seen that an array is defined as with a name, with a type, and only with one subscript. But it is possible to have multiple subscript. We have considered, for instance, grade of I, but now we can consider not only having I, but other subscripts. However, for the moment, we are going to concentrate and focus only on two dimensional arrays. Once you understand the concept, it becomes very easy to extend the understanding to 3D arrays, 4D arrays, etc. But for the moment, to keep it simple, simply focus with me on two dimensional arrays. It could be seen as a table having rows and having columns. So if I have M rows and N columns, then I call it an M by N array. Like in mathematics, you can consider this table as a matrix. So like matrices, we specify not only the subscript, but we specify the row and we specify the column. In this case, I have a matrix or a two-dimensional array having three rows and having one, two, three, four columns. As it is the case of a simple array, you see that we start from zero always. And we specify the row and we specify the column. This is the subscript of the column and here is the subscript of the row. Of course, the first one is the array name. As previously explained in the one dimensional array, we specify the array type, we specify the name of the array, and then we specify both the number of rows and the number of columns, each one of them given between brackets. So for instance, here I'm defining, can you tell me what? This is an array or a two dimensional array called matrix of type int having two rows and three columns. How to initialize? We have defined before. I can initialize giving every element specifying the row and the column its own value. But I can use the shortcut to initialize the whole array in one shot. So I define it here. I have an array or two dimensional array of name A of type int having two rows and three columns. So you see here I have two rows and one, two, three columns. And you see that I use braces in order to initialize the way I want it. So you see here, I specify first the row, the whole row, and then the second row. If I don't specify as it is the case here, I omit to specify the remaining cells within the first row, then the C compiler will decide to put a zero to the non-specified or the unspecified cells. How to refer uh, to an element? Very simple. We specify first the row, then I specify the column. So in this case, this cell is the row number zero with the column number two. So here, then I can again consider it as a normal variable. So a of 0 to equal to 85, or in this case, it should be 9. And I can print this whole cell considered as a normal variable, percentage %d, because in the previous slide, I defined it as a int. So percentage %d a of 0 to, which will print 9 in our case. As a summary, a 2D array can be viewed as a matrix of rows and columns. The definition to initialize and to refer to the different elements of a 2D array is really similar to a one-dimensional array. Don't forget that they have to specify not only one script, but always specify the row, then the column. Thank you.